Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to export GradeView to PDF using JavaScript and jQuery in ASP.NET. So let's start. We'll start by adding a GradeView control. Now I'm adding columns to the grid view. I'll be adding three bond fill columns, customer ID, name and country. Now our grid view is ready. Let's move to the code behind. Now I'm adding a namespace system.data. I'll be making use of dynamic data table to populate the grid view. Now inside the page load event handler, I am writing the if not is post back condition. Now first I am creating a data table object. Now I am adding columns to the data table. It will be same columns what we have already defined in the grid view. Before moving ahead, I would like to inform you that an article has already been posted on this topic. The link for the article and the code sample are available in the description. Also, if you need any further help, feel free to ask on forums. The link for the forum is also available in the description. Finally, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Now I'm adding some rows to the data table. The grid view can also be populated from database, but in this example, it is not a requirement and hence I'm making use of a dynamic data table. Now the rows have been added. Now I'll assign the data table to the grid view and call the data bind method. The population part of the grid view is completed. Now let's run the code and see the grid view. So it is working perfectly and the grid view is displaying data from the dynamic data table. Now let's move back to the ASPX page. Now let's move to the next part which is exporting grid view to PDF using JavaScript and jQuery. So we'll start by adding a button. Now I'm inheriting three JavaScript files. The first one is jQuery, the second one is PDF make and the third one is the HTML to canvas. All these three will be required for exporting the grid view to PDF using JavaScript and jQuery. Now here I am selecting the button using jQuery. I'll be assigning a click event handler to the button. Now inside the HTML to canvas function, I am selecting the grid view. I would like to inform you that this particular example will only work in HTML5 supported browsers. It won't work in any browser which is not supporting HTML5. 
the reason behind is that canvas which we are using here is only available in HTML5 supported browsers. Inside the on rendered event handler of the HTML to canvas function, I am fetching the grid view image using HTML5 canvas. So the idea is to convert the grid view to an image and then export the image to PDF using the PDF make plugin. So that is the reason I am using two plugins. The first one is HTML to canvas, which converts the grid view as an image. And then the image is converted to PDF using the PDF make plugin. Finally, I am calling the create PDF function of the PDF make plugin, which will create the grid view image to PDF and also download it. So now let's run the code and check it. Now let's click on the export button. As you can see the PDF has been downloaded. After opening you can see it is clearly showing the grid view along with all the colors and the font. So with this we come to the end of this video. Today we learned how to export grid view to PDF using JavaScript and jQuery in ASP.NET. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.